Well, motivation was always something I could never really put words into. I mean, I've heard successful people talking about it, their strategies, about its importance, but somehow I could never put it into action and practice. In the ninth grade, during online learning and quarantine, not leaving house gave me the great feeling of isolation and loneliness. Not only I had no desire to study at all, but also I didn't want to do anything except binge watching my favorite TV shows while scrolling through social media. And yet, why should I have done anything? We were all isolated, nothing was happening in the outside world, and why would anything matter? Besides, without adjustments, concentrating and listening to online classes was quite difficult, especially from the environment I was in, my house, my favorite comfort zone. But you know what? Even though my head decreased in motivation, all this time, I wondered, how could I manage to do my assignments more efficiently? How could I have stayed focused? And most importantly, how could I have stayed motivated to do things that I wanted to do in this new, challenging situation that we all faced? And then, I realized that I actually had enough time to find answers to all these questions. So, I started getting my life in order. Well, first, I bought some cell phone books from Amazon, listened to various TED Talks. They were talking about consistency, discipline, motivation, and read some amazing inspirational books about them. I found out that if you want to achieve long-lasting, remarkable results, you should start with tiny changes in your everyday life, building habits. So I decided to start small by getting up every day at 6 o'clock, drinking one bottle of water, running, and then doing my assignments. Most importantly, I learned about my passions. I learned that I love designing, creating, performing, and I learned that in order to succeed in them, everyday self-education must have a big part in my life. So I read books about how to motivate myself more in education, in things that I was curious about, how to make self-learning much more fun and interesting. I learned the tips, so I put them into action and practice. First, I tidy up my workspace, whether I'm working at my dorm room desk or the corner table of the coffee shop. I get rid of as many distractions and as many trash as possible because less mess I have, better I can concentrate on classes. Also, I master the importance of breaking down tasks. It's easy to get overwhelmed by a huge amount of homework and seemingly less assignments, but rather than worrying, I break them down to small little actions that is easily achievable, and at the end of the day, I have them fully completed without realizing it. Well, additionally, as I was holding my cell phone, I had no stimulation to even do tasks. Silencing my phone and setting it to do not disturb mode inspired me to do tasks without getting distracted. Another tip that helped me to stay motivated and form new habits during my education was planning. As each month went by, I was buying this cute little notebook where I write all the goals I want to achieve and the system how I could reach that goal. For example, if I wanted to finish the book, the system was to read 10, 20 pages every day. So I would write that down on my list and then take it when I was done. Lastly, the main part in the process of gaining motivation was rewarding myself. Because without any reward, it is hard to form new habits. Rewarding is like satisfying yourself with the work you have done, so you'll do more. It teaches us what actions are worth repeating. My example of rewarding was going out with friends or watching a movie at the end of the day after I was done with all the tasks and habits. I must say that it was not easy at first. I had a lot of ups, downs, and setbacks, but I learned the master requires patience. And all the work that I've done before is not wasted, but it's being stored. And all the studying and working habits will later pay off. So I guess we'll be asking now, what is motivation exactly? Motivation can be understood words, rather than practice. It's what motivates us, moves us to do certain things, things that we're passionate about. And that role in education can lead to nothing but great success. It's not permanent, I'm going to be honest, but you can make it consistent with discipline. It's that small little wins in your daily life that improves your motivation. It's the action you do in the long-term run. It's um, when you get up and do a task instead of lying in the bed. And you should remember the little progress each day, it's up to great results. Thank you.